D&D. Like, what is going on right now? You realize that if you had a heart attack... I think it's a gun. <laughs> if you had a heart attack while playing charades, it'd be the worst thing ever. You realize that? It'd be amazing at that time. The gun is, is killing the knife. This is like rock, paper, scissors, only rock, like gun, sword, octopus. Octopus, crack in. I think octopus win. Yeah. Every time. <laughs> Every time. Okay. Every time. What are we doing, everywhere. Tyler? Well, your three days have passed in the city. Oh, so we got to meet up. And it is now time for the hunt. All right. If you are all going to wait. Oh, she has to tell us about it first. Oh, yeah. Oh, so we have to meet in, like... Yes, you all meet the... back up at designated point in place. Oh, I thought I hired... I hired Gregor, the elf, yeah. to take me through the underworld. Yes. He took your money. Yes, and he will. He's like, fuck you. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'll be back in an hour. Fuck no, you and your lofty sure. ideals. Yes, and I will give you some uh, information and stuff later, Sarge. Gotcha. He's so you get in uh, out of role play information. Okay. Uh, so you got meeting oh. up. You're cutting in and out, Tyler. Yeah, Tyler, Sorry. you're cutting out bad, dude. Here, let me host it. Uh, Hey, yeah, hey, no, let me well, host I'm it. not even hosting. Yeah, I'm hosting. I don't know. Yeah, because your internet's terrible, and you should feel bad. Okay. <laughs> remake. Remake. I'll, you want me to host? Uh, we'll see who remake. Ha! Beat you to it. What? Remake. I... Wicked, wicked. What? Rematch. Rematch. Hello? I remixed a remix and that's yeah. normal. 360 no scope. <laughs> okay. Continue, Tyler. Sorry. And pick cat beard. Sarge. <laughs> so, yes, we're all back at the inn. Meeting where Sophie is going to tell you what's going on in the city above. So, are shady. we still in the undercity? Or... You're in the undershady. The under oh, under shady. Under shady. Under some shady. Hey, I'm like I'm, I have like a lid on. And I noticed you guys. And I'm like. Do we notice her? Well, uh, it's not if we notice her; it's if we care. Do we care? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, I think I'm going to go back to the over city now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, I guess, Sophie, what did you learn? Um, so, there, is, there might be a way to get you guys onto the surface without having to disguise you guys. But it's going to require a little bit of work. Why? We could just walk out into I mean, the... To the upper city they're not going to let you in what? and even if you try to break in there's all the armed guards there who would you know try to kill you and probably will so. uh, the plight of the wealthy is not something I concern myself with but it might put some coin in your pocket and that coin can help you do whatever you need to do which is yeah Speaking of what we need to do, did you find your little friend? He's not Word. little, but I did find him. How about the person that's trying to kill you? Yeah. Uh, did not find that person. Apparently they skipped town. They've been getting in bad favors with the Elysian government. Did you mm -hmm. find out which way they went so we can stop this? Um, no, but I have an idea of who so might so you were up there for three days. I didn't know it was going to be three days. Managed to find Tyler. anything Tyler, I about you did. You did. 
I think we can safely assume that three days worth of investigation has revealed more than just this. <laughs> Somebody was listening. <laughs> <laughs> Just not the person that needed to hear it. <laughs> it's in my fucking notes, and I'm like, yeah? Yeah, I don't take notes. I just, you know, go you with the flow. That's a very, to be fair, that's a very Sophie thing to do. <laughs> I mean, to be fair. <laughs> So why aren't we heading north? Yeah, I suggest we head north as soon as we can. Stop this. Lucian, did not your quarry go north as well? Uh, Tyler, did Lucian's quarry go north? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! I was the only one listening. Yes. <laughs> Actually, the, no, no, the only thing that, that at least I remember from that is that we were going into the, under, the underworld specifically to find out where these people went and like who they were with and stuff like that. I just remember that we had a big discussion on how much extra the, the elf guy should be paid. <laughs> That's all. A gold? Oh my god, don't pay him a gold, Sarge. Why not? A silver? No, no, no. Silver is way too much. It cost me a copper. Oh, okay. I remember <laughs> you finding a person saying that they saw a tiefling heading north as well as. Sophie's buddy saying that Catalina was seen going north as well. Okay. If I recall correctly, Tyler, correct me if I'm wrong. That's my apologies. I was trying to pay attention. I, I guess I just must have missed that. I totally was too. I just, you yeah, know. <laughs> Don't lump me in with you, Dina. Don't lump me in with you. <laughs> Your boat is sinking too. It's okay. I can swim. I, have, I still have my uh, emblem. So, I can decide whatever their boat is doing because next week they won't remember it. So, <laughs> <that's a good laughs> Tyler, you can change this entire map and they probably would be like, oh yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, I can totally. Try, I can tell anything. <laughs> I just have to wait. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess we'll just go north unless you're not interested in doing this hunt thing. But why? Why? My quarry has gone north and you found out that the person that tried to murder you or at least said they were going to is heading north as well why would we waste any more time with this hunt both of our quarries are going north so there's no reason to tear less than control those cold I feel I'm no hunter but I know this I feel that wow. that well yes we do have a point I'm getting influence with Elysia which is one of the more powerful cities in this area could be more beneficial to us, so I don't know. Does your name not carry enough weight? Uh, mm. you know, I haven't been here in a while, so not so much. Uh, you know, from prior, I mean, you know, people recognize me and things, but you did have trouble getting into the gate. N no, no, it just you know. I was there. I I do recall the fact that you had to use a symbol other than your own. Is there something that because we should I know? And at that time, we did not know that uh, Catalina was not here. So, that's why. Sound plan. Not tipping off your quarry before you get to her. I think, I, but still, having influence, not just me, but you guys, also having influence in the city would be very beneficial in the long run. Take we never know what us. type of... We do not have no influence here. I, that's where the hunt comes in. Yeah! We would so, not be influential due to our quote unquote uncommon behavior or appearance. Well, I. Yeah, but this is. Okay. No matter well, what beasts we take down, we will still be seen as uncommon and treated as such. But this would be, you know, the winners of the hunt will get a huge feast and it, it, it'll be a good time and we can probably get hungry. more. We have more pressing matters to attend to, such as people trying to kill us. I think I'm hungry for that justice. A hunt 
would not be the best use of our time and our skills. And should Catalina there. find out you were there, she would know where you are before you know where she is. And then she would come down here, right? So it wouldn't be that big of a deal. It seems like this would be more her hunting. It seems like this It seems like this would be more her hunting ground than yours. Mm. Fine, if that is what you choose. I just personally feel that we could use more financing. You have a noble family backing, though. Did you yeah. not get any material from your family? I have to do it through secret channels. Again, I didn't want to announce who I am. Or where mm. I am. So, I'm having my secrecy? friend assist what? with that. Why all this secrecy? What are you not telling us about yourself? I've been very open and honest. There's nothing I'm trying to hide. Except for why you're being... You're being secret. <laughs> <laughs> why are you I being secret? I'm not being secret. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> drinks his ale. <laughs> Calvis drinks his tea and says, that's none of my business. <laughs> Awkward tea fling drinking. <laughs> Through a helmet. I do for Gala. <laughs> Being in the Undercity is, is, is uh, definitely not having the best impact on you guys. If you wish to leave immediately, we can. I agree. Fair Let's leave immediately. Alright, let me gather my things and we shall meet outside sure. the city then. While she gathers her things, I say goodbye to the gnome patrons me and Jose have found. We've been hanging out for the past three days. We're totally yeah. Can I, before I head out, can I go shopping in the, I didn't get to go shopping. Yeah, you, you can, can go shopping. Uh, we probably yeah. should pick up some, some more healing potions. Yeah, I want to get some healing potions. Yeah. Um, where's the supply, where's the shop list on the, on the handbook? Uh, Entering? Well, I don't have the PDF open. Oh my what equipment are you looking for? Yeah, I'm just looking for equipment. Adventure gun. Uh, Age uh, 141. What, on the PDF? Yep. I have oh, no thanks. idea what it is on the PDF. Uh, it's 141 where you get adventuring gear and then you go down to other stuff. Um, healing potions are expensive. I believe they're fifty gold pieces apiece, but how many? Who, okay, who has? Who doesn't have a healing thing? I I I am born with a healing thing. Okay, what so you, what my you healing have? my healing rod. I also have curative wounds, so I have that. So, uh, wow. healing about, rod. Uh, no, I do not heal. And then, uh, Jose doesn't heal either. I have my second wind once a fight, pretty much. So, you just how many... just the herbs and I can make it myself. Probably yeah, just cheaper. get the herbs. Okay, how much are the herbs? The herbs would be the same gold price cost, because somebody what? still has to go out and get... <laughs> well, okay, uh -huh. okay, if you want, <laughs> we can go... I can go ahead and... <laughs> Okay, you know what? I will go ahead and buy one healing potion, Jess. Yes, if only you had had a large windfall of cash with which to buy these healing potions. Oh, actually, can I sell my two sapphires? Can I sell my two sapphires? Like, that, I'm sorry, man. It's just like... Lucian's very single-minded when it comes to this. Like, he's not going to waste time. On something like a hunt. Well, so are we, technically, because we're logical creatures. We're not. Wait, we're wait, not gonna wait, sit wait. here and be like, our quarry's leaving, let's go hunting. Uh -huh. That's okay. Tyler, I got this. Tyler. Yes. Tyler. I would like to sell. Yes! God. Uh, Tyler! Tyler! <laughs> Sapphires are worth 50 gold each, and my opal gems are worth 10 gold each. Okay. 
based on what you told me. So now yeah. I have an unscripted amount of money. And then through that money, I want to buy uh, two he uh, healing potions. Okay. That's fine. What's the roll on them again? Uh, 2d4 money. plus 2. That's 2? So then I lose a hundred. No, yeah, I just lose a hundred. Okay. All right. That's... Um, can I meet up with Matthias prior to us leaving? Uh, yeah. Okay. I say to Matthias, it seems that I must. Uh, my party wishes to leave, so I must leave with them. If in order for me to find Catalina. Get my revenge. He understands. Um, and he says he has a gift for you. Oh, what is your it? Your father. Oh, oh, wow. What is it? Did you check if it was poisoned yet? <laughs> <laughs> um, it is actually a hunting book. Okay. Very finely crafted. So, do, do I have? Is it the same stat? Yeah. <laughs> same stat. It's just the same bow. <clears throat> it doesn't give me anything else special besides being really pretty. I don't know. Maybe, um, maybe not. Um, and then I asked, I asked him, um, he gave me a hunting bow. What do you think that means? The hunting bow. Um, he kind of had forgiven you, but not really sure. Hmm. Well, that is fine. Just tell, just let him know that I'm leaving and I'll be okay. He says he will do. All right. Bye. Don't come with me. Oh yeah. Hey, Matthias, do you want to come <laughs> and be my NPC? <laughs> oh my goodness. Listen, NPC is uh, easy to handle. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Remember what happened to your last NPC? <laughs> Nobody hey, said it. But your last he just winked out of existence. Your NPC saved your life, though, because he died. So, no, <laughs> Matthias died. Yeah. No, didn't. Someone... What are you talking about? Oh, my badge activated. That was a badge. Then what happened to. Then what happened to. Uh, just poofed. Uh, That's it. He's what? gone. I, I, I thought that he, like, because he did some miraculous act. Who? Died. No. Uh, Pat, who is she talking about? Are you serious? I don't remember seeing anyone. With yeah, it was just Jose. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys are so annoying. <laughs> it's just been him? Yeah. Are you okay? Did you drink the water here? Yeah, the water in Alicia is kind of... Uh, uh, L.A. Yeah. L.A. <laughs> Purified bottle water that comes straight from the LA tap water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it's actually it's called Zephyr Hills, and it's actually next to a graveyard. Hey, that water is actually pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it is, but still. Yeah. Graveyard water. Mmm. Mm. Love that rot. Taste the dead people. <laughs> Taste the cream filling. What? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Is there a is there a place in the underworld that we can we can like rent a horse? Yeah, I want to get a horse. A 
I'd like to get a pig. They're expensive. They're Considering people, people generally don't, don't travel in Elysia. Again, if only you had the, you know, sanction of Elysia I as a tried. city. Where you're if only, tried, if only the DM was hinting something. I tried, <laughs> Tyler, okay? But they wouldn't I listen to Sophie. Oh, we don't listen to reason. We listen it's, to logic. it's even on Lucian's character sheet. He doesn't care about money. Yep. <laughs> Only the things he said money can buy does he care. Yeah, no, he'll walk. He doesn't. <laughs> Walking is good exercise. No, um... For reals, though, I'd like to buy a piglet. Or a pig. Yeah, pigs are cheap. You can ride a pig. For reals, you yo. Can buy a pig. Can I buy a horse? It's gonna be like, it's gonna grow to be a hog. That's, that's what's yeah. going on. It will be my battle hog. Um, and buy a horse. Horses, I believe, are like 50, 60 gold pieces. Yep, yeah, If only she I had a horse in like... Rosedale. Yeah, but we're not gonna go back to Rosedale. You can. <laughs> we'll just go ahead. <laughs> I think you we go can ahead. Buy a... You go get your horse. Okay, I'm gonna buy a horse. Do you actually have the gold to buy a horse? Yep. You wanna know how much gold I had when I sold Remember everything? Remember she's hoarding? I'm hoarding. I had she's 264 gold. Holding. Holy frick. Wow. Well, that, so that's where all of our gold is. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> oh my gosh. But now how much you got, Jose? 30. <laughs> I got 32. I got like 15. <laughs> but now I well, we only have 140 gold because I'll buy a horse <laughs> and two health potions. Only. Mm. Um, that was a really bad eight. investment. Roll a percentile dice. Uh, what's a percentile dice? D100. Oh, uh, D100. I guess on roll 20. He used the al he used like the accounting term for it. <laughs> Wow. Holy shit. <laughs> he gives it to What? Breaking up again. Uh, I your think horse it's the host. 140. No. Yeah, 148 gold. Why? Why? Because you, you got a like, 98% increased value. <laughs> No, I'm not gonna buy a horse then. It's not a horse. Hey, it's then. A Pegasus. Wow, talk about inflation. <laughs> oh yeah. man. Well, you no, know, they're, just like not making, they're, they're just not making horses anymore, so the prices is going up and up. <laughs> yeah, they just don't make them like they used to. I know. Supply right? and demand. Like no, carbon no, fiber. I, unfortunately, <laughs> I'm not gonna get a horse. <laughs> carbon fiber horse. I asked. Oh, can I do this? Uh, before Matthias. You have. Have. I was gonna say, you have like, what, a couple hours to find somebody to sell you a horse? Obviously, the, in, a, in an area where horses are rather uncommon because they're not used, yes, it's gonna be kind of expensive. Okay, fine then. Before Matthias leaves, I asked him, when's the next uh, trading caravan gonna be leaving towards the north? He should know this. At least um, he should find information for this. Probably. There's usually ones that leave every couple days, so. Is there one leaving as soon as possible, that, or one that just left that we can probably catch up with? Um, uh, as soon as roll 20 actually wants to roll my die, I will tell you. I'll roll it for you, what is it? Two days. Two days. Okay. Okay, I mean, yeah, I guess if you want to keep go, just go walk. But I feel like we're going aimlessly. Like, we're just going north, like... <clears throat> north. I don't know, I really want to do the hunt, but everyone else does, so... It'll be kind of useless for me to just do it myself. You can do it by yourself. Yeah. Lucy and I and Jose will go hunt. It'll be like that scene in Lord of the Rings. 
<laughs> that would ex oh. that'll ex be exactly what it is, too. <laughs> Calrus, what do your half elven eyes see? Oh my, oh my god, you can't just you can't just say half elven like that. What's the matter with you? Where's the closest city or encampment towards the north? Uh, um, I mean, there's probably small. Yeah, I guess that would technically be it. Uh, um. Although it's mostly likely that that would be the big major city. No. Um, Is that a military? small village and farming areas throughout the, the countryside? Okay, I I go down to the underworld again and just make sure before we officially get out. Huh. I'm like, okay, guys. So under city, either... not underworld. Whatever, We're not in up. hell. <laughs> um, anyway, so, dude, like, we could Whoa. either do this. We could walk. I, yeah. I'm saying dude, but, like, it translates to formal gentleman and sir in Alicia. It's an accent. Anyway, mm. so we could either, like, go <laughs> and, and with a caravan that might be two days from now to, you know, stay, you know, make the trip a little bit faster we could either walk by foot or if we're gonna wait two days we might as well just do the hunt and get you know money and stuff well yeah okay. no she has she has a valid point because like we're just gonna be walking aimlessly we don't know where the next is going to be so it, there's no point we might as well go with numbers and since i cannot purchase a horse we're gonna be screwed we can we can only assume that the prey has left with her resources yeah so that we means that she's know. already moving faster than us we're at a severe disadvantage yeah having something well, where we could buy these things as much as i really don't want to let them get farther away. If we leave by foot, we take the risk of losing them all together. Pretty much. Okay. And dying. I don't mind the dying part. But, uh, yeah, okay. Hmm. Jose? Either, I... Okay, I... Hmm. Whoa. I am... Although, I'm gonna cut out for a minute again here. Yeah. My router is apparently horrible. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. Either either we wait two days for the caravan and don't do it, and then they're already two days ahead of us, or we take the day, wait the two days, do the hunt, and actually have some gold with which to be able no, to. Today's the hunt day. Today's the hunt day. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you said we already waited the three days, so today's the hunt day. How long does the hunt typically last? Uh, Tyler? He's doing stuff with his router. Um, uh, I would say no. maximum two days. <laughs> yeah, right? We get into the finals, you know, maximum two days. So it'll work and out. And what are we hunting? The finals? I, I don't are, know. I don't aren't know we just be like hunting a heart or something? A, a boar or a fox? Well, I, I, don't I didn't really get the details, competing. but it, it sounds like they're doing something new this year. Different than what I'm used to, hunting with like the hounds stuff they they have it's like i guess groups of people with um an elysium up a, a you know noble from the upper city and the group of the un, un, um the uncommons helping them out so i guess they're doing something a little bit different this year and who would be our elysian noble that we would be helping me uh. Uh, he tried to catch you there. Kind of face palm right there. He tried to he tried to catch you there. That was a good one. I am the least attainable, but I would be of course using a hidden name. But you're a noble, so you would want your name out. That Not and people would recognize you. Like I said, if we, I will wear a mask. I have a weird mask. All right. Uh, while you no, are you up, don't you... have a weird mask. You threw it in an elemental pool and got jacked. Oh, shit you're right. For it. That's okay. I can I can make a weird mask. <laughs> I can make one. 
Uh, what are you gonna do, like, play someone and just, like, wear their skin over your no, face? I, mean, I, what I, the have, hell? Um, I have a deck of cards, I'll just, you know, paint on my face. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you're like those girls who make Magic the Gathering dresses out of cards? Yes, I'm, I'm like gotcha. that. Yeah, well, so I want sundresses. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, while you were up there in the the heavens See. of glory, uh, Olympus. Yeah, while you were up in Olympus, uh, <laughs> were you able to find out how long ago what's her name left? Uh. <laughs> oh man. No, don't. Hey, no, don't crutch me now. Oh, uh. <laughs> Tyler? <laughs> <laughs> God, <we're> so... <laughs> okay, fine. Survey I'm gonna says. I'm gonna make up Tyler's again. missing. Uh. Tyler's not even in the call. I know. <laughs> uh, I'm making up shit, and my shit says. Uh. Maybe. A week or two. Okay. Uh. Okay. I think I. Hey. Hello. We asked you like ten thousand questions. We thought we didn't. We thought you were just listening, but you weren't. So. Yeah. So answer them uh, now. Answer them now. Uh, forty-two. <laughs> okay. She left forty-two <laughs> days ago. <laughs> forty-two <laughs> days ago, she 42 left. Forty-two days right. ago. Okay. And that's how many pigs I can get for a gold. And that's how many torches I have. <laughs> Good idea. Hey, Jose, buy 42 pigs, light them on the fire, and send them throughout the field. We'll burn her out. Oh, wow. That's incredibly morbid. I saw that in a movie once. I saw that in a movie. What movie was it? Probably Ancient Roman Textic, because they literally did. Yeah. They would, like, dig under the castle, and then throw all these pigs in there, and then light them on fire, and it would literally, like turn the castle into an oven. It was because pretty... the pigs were running around on fire screaming and yeah. first off that was scared of hey, shit. That doesn't make second... any sense. Sure, why not? Do you have any idea how hard it is to light a pig on fire? Nope. I'm telling no, you. Not listen, really. They could cover like, in oil. They covered them in oil and then they like trapped them under the couch and then they like set the thing on fire. I'm sure they had like accelerants in their like hay or whatever but yeah. I forget what movie it was. You can look it up. Anyway, Incendiary uh, Pigs. We can pull this up Tyler, right now. Tyler, we had some questions. Yes. Yeah. Uh, how many days did, um, how many days from our arrival did, uh, Catalina leave? Like, how many days prior? Um, probably several weeks. Okay, several weeks. So 42 work. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, what else do we need to ask? Oh, what exactly are we hunting? And you don't know yet. Oh, I don't know yet. But I knew that uh. this is this is not a normal type of hunt because they're acting uncommon to help. Correct. Okay. There's something uh, special about Okay, so do I know okay, how do I get more information about the hunt and how do I get how do I sign up? Um the there's a feast that happens at sundown. Okay. And that's when they will feast the, the beast. And then the hunt starts at sunup the next day. Okay. I want to go into Lysia and buy a mask. She misplaced if her only one. you had a mask. I <laughs> threw it into the water and nothing happened, okay? Got jack shit out of it. I got jack shit and now I need a new mask. <laughs> I just imagine so how, all the useless shit at the bottom of that. How much pool. is a mask? I don't want a like expensive one, just like a mask. A gold piece. One gold. It's gonna be like that Zoro mask where it just covers your cheeks, and they're gonna like, who is that masked woman? I know. <laughs> nope. Or maybe I should be like Superman and just remove my glasses, and then like, everyone's gonna be like, what? There Change you, go. you just slightly. you just put your head. You put your hair down instead of having it up all, all the time. Okay, if we're really going to do the hunt, there's a few yeah. things that I would like to try to procure from the, the under city. And let me know if you need anything from the upper city. And I can... Okay, see if you can... Totally just going to say underworld and you stop yourself. 
I did. I yes, I I caught myself. I'm learning. Um I I want to try to find a net. A net? A net? Because if we're if we're yeah, oh, I'm just I'm I'm going out loud. Okay. We need a net. It would be at least a good idea to have a net. I already have rope. Um, I would like to try to get some oh, oil. Oil. Yes. Okay. Cal trips. Yep. And um, can we just get hooks like fishing hooks? It says fishing tackle right here. Would that just be? Basically that. Yeah. I think so, yeah. Okay. Okay, I say you guys divide up your gold and buy the... I would buy traps. We stare at you like that. Divide up our gold. Divide up our gold. No. Get back here. I'm Get back here while you're doing this on your own. <laughs> we may change you back. Yeah. Dude, I already bought... Oh, wait. Let me give my two potions. I'm going to give two, uh, both of my health potions. One to Calrus and one to Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Now divvy up the money. <laughs> no. Jesus. Yeah. No. No, that is money. He gave me. you a fifty gold piece health potion. Jesus. Yeah. God. Too much. All right, I'm going to turn around and sell this health potion for fifty fifty gold. Because <laughs> he can heal himself. <laughs> yeah. Brought you money and I can heal myself. Why don't you give it to me? Oh wait, did I sell a potion? No, you can't take it back. You gave it. Stop! Her. Stop! Come on. Indian giver. Indian giver. Although I don't know why he's named after Indians. I know, right? That is terrible. We take everything from them. Um, yes, and you wouldn't be able to sell the health potion for fifty gold either. So, good luck with that. To the right person. Holy crap! Caltrips are gold piece. Hurt someone really bad and be like, hey, it's gold. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Looks like you're bleeding to death. You to go? do that. You might as well just keep the health potion, kill them, and steal their gold. I don't understand. <laughs> no, no, no. That's against his alignment. Can't do it. <laughs> well, then he doesn't have to do the that's killing. Ask Lucian. What the hell? <laughs> that's against his alignment. He's got a deity to answer to. Uh, we need someone who's chaotic neutral. Oh. Yeah, but I'm not gonna kill people for money. <laughs> Wink, 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 ever, wink, wink, even though wink. you're trying to kill someone. Mm -hmm. Um, where are the traps? I thought I saw traps. Hunting traps. Um, I, I have one already. One They're kind of big and bulky, and Lucian's already got one. Yeah. Oh, you do? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I my my whole tribe hunts, so I. I what else did you need? A net. A net. Yep. How much is a net? That's what I'm looking up. According to too, so you can stab between the net prongs and stab whatever creature. Hold on a second. Here, let me do this. I will give you ten gold, and you buy whatever you need. Okay? All right, give me a couple seconds, guys. Okay, so about giving out money. I gave I gave Lucy and ten gold. I gave you guys health potions. I'm gone. Mm -hmm. I'm going upstairs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Later, I'm going home. I'm going home. <laughs> Fuck this shit on now. Oh, I'm trying uh, to think if there's one. anything I need. Uh, I got that fire wasp poison still. Should probably do something with that. Should, actually, I'll hand that to Sophie. Sophie, you got fire wasp poison. Yeah, like everyone went real quiet there for a second. Matt, you there? Nope. Apparently nope. everybody's yeah. dead. Alright, so Sorry, this is now a solo campaign. Sorry, you're back. Nope. 
Solo campaign. Solo campaign. Well, hey, guess what? You get fire wasp poison. What? I have fire wasp poison that I'm handing to you. Oh, okay. Because I don't really need it. Yep. Waiting for the jump pack. Yeah. Apparently. And yeah. Yep. Tyler? Yes. Can I dip um my my arrows into the fire wasp po poison? Will that give me an advantage? Uh you can apply a bonus action. So while I'm fighting, um, I can dip it as a bonus action? Yes. Um, how many doses did you have of that? I just have one fire wasp potion. So it's I don't know poison. how many... Oh, sorry, poison. I don't know how many dips I can do. How many did you have, Calorus? It said only one. Like, one dosage. Lies, I gave you more than you sure? Because I didn't do a good nature check for that one. Yeah, but there was... I, you did a horrible nature check. But you got two chances on it. Welcome back. Oh, you had more of that. Okay. So, two doses? Three doses? Um, roll a d6. Me or him? Yep. Uh, Dina, now that she has it. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, I I'll take that roll. Sure. Unless you want me you to got roll. A four? Yeah, I, I got, got a four. four. I'm not actually getting 20 yet. Um, oh. Sorry, guys. I'm back. It's okay. No Hold on one That's second. Sorry. Oh. Le le uh, I gave you uh, 10 gold, Sarge. Nice. Okay, thank you. So you buy whatever you need to buy. Cool. All right, so I'm up to 23. Cow trips are one gold. The oil is, I think, one copper per flask. I'm sorry, one silver per flask. It's going to try and get two of those. Net is also a gold piece. Just with that 22. If that's how you want to roll that, Tyler. I'm just what I see in the book. Yep, you can just go the uh, book price. That's fine. Okay. And then... Fishing tackle. Cheers. No, because a horse is rare. Everybody has pets and fishing hooks. What about pigs? Yeah, pigs are pretty rare. <laughs> you can buy a pig. <laughs> I'd rather like to buy a boar or a hog. Does anybody have any boars or hogs just lying around? We can steal one later if that's what you want, or maybe during the hunt we'll find a boar and then, you know, kill that one. Well, I wouldn't want to sully your reputation during the hunt by... Well, you're, boar. you're an uncommon, so they expect you to be reckless. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna buy a bottle, too. Just a random bottle, a little glass bottle. Why is the bottle more expensive? Oh, wait, because glass making is still an actual... Thing. <laughs> thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like how your anger caught up to your brain. <laughs> <laughs> like, Why is this? Oh, yeah. Well, that actually kind of makes sense. <laughs> um, okay. And then 10 iron spikes. All right. That I think that's about good. Okay, so wrap up. I bought two, two flasks of oil, a bottle, um... Caltrips, a net, fishing supplies, and the uh, like a set of ten iron spikes. Okay. Okay. I think that's everything. Oh, can I just like, like get? cloth like just really low grade quality cloth just like a handful uh yes okay 
I just I figured somebody would just have like scrap that they wouldn't be using. Okay, I'm done. Probably only a couple of copper pieces anyway. So. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> All right, everyone has whatever they want. They can afford. Yeah. I'm ready for All the All right. Indeed, you are. And there's, as night begins to fall and the day becomes later, there's a, a large feast held on the outskirts of town. Uh, it's almost like a fair type of atmosphere. The centerpiece of which is a huge cage of some sort that's draped over with cloth. Do we hear anything coming from Although, inside? Every once in a while, you hear a growl or a, a snarl or a uh, roar. I use my favorite enemy beast thing. <laughs> See if I can have an idea what that is. Uh, like a nature check. Nature check. What is my nature? Zero. Yeah. <laughs> it's a roar. It's got to be a squirrel. The vicious mountain squirrel. Um, if I make a survival check, would I have encountered this beast before? I'm pretty sure you've encountered many goats. Um, that would be a intelligence check. Mm. Yeah, he's more wise than he is intelligent. <laughs> Alright, I won't worry about it. Eating goat, or is it just we hear a goat? We hear a goat from here. A goat. Inside there, the... there, there probably is a uh, is goat. Oh, the round. Is off. Uh, and just as the the sun begins to set, uh, torches are brought out and. Everyone uh, gathers around this huge cage with the noble who is putting on the hunt. Um, what happened to Nobu? Is is? Um, sure, he's from the uh, La Creme family. <laughs> 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 It's not Francois. You've never heard of him, but you know you you can tell by the uh, his heraldry that he is a La Creme. Creamy cupcake. No thanks. I I don't. I drink mine black. <laughs> oh, the never setup mind. and the spike. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, 
he announces that whoever, whatever noble successfully completes the hunt shall be awarded a favor by his own house. Oh, uh, it's like getting free money. From, oh, from the La Creme house. Oh, okay. Okay, all right. I was, I was gonna like, say, I was like, oh, wait, you get a favor oh, from your right. house? I was like, hey, can uh, I get a favor? Shitty hunt, I'm leaving, guys. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, all right, so north, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, north. Yeah. Worst As potluck day, uh, ever. Money. Significant bounty. Yeah. So a favor and a bounty. Mm, yeah. Why do we need paper towels? Wow. Dunch. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't want to die. Don't kill me, please. <laughs> the, bur the animal burst from the cage and kills me. <laughs> Just as the sun sets, they, the crowd is, and they pull off and um, the covering from the cage, and a servant throws it open. And everyone can make a perception check. Yes. You should know this by now. Wisdom. Oh, that's oh, a shit. To me. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh damn it. You perceive all the stuff. I know, it is a demon gulk. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. It's moving too quick for me. Jose, are you even watching? Or did you already roll? No, he oh. Yeah, I rolled it. Ten for me. I got to add the uh, plus two. Alright. Uh, Sophie and Calrus. Although the beast moves with almost unnatural speed, um, you do manage to catch a glimpse of its three heads and large bat-like wings as it flies off into the night. Oh, I knew it. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. Would this be considered a beast? Yeah. It is a monster. No! Mm. But I got a perfect roll. Does it change a creature's time? Does it change? What it does? <laughs> <laughs> it's a human eye, guys. <laughs> 20. It's a human eye. No, no, no. My, my uh, favorite beast is me, so it's a bear. <laughs> mm. Like, can I, like, since I got a perfect roll, can I better proceed? I'm like, trying to think of like at least get a like if you're gonna give me anything, at least give me like a gen a better general direction of where it went. You you definitely see where it went. Okay. Yes. But we still Guys. have to wait until morning. You still have to wait till morning to go actually on the hunt. And the the noble in charge says whoever wishes to participate, um must meet back here at dawn, so that's when the hunt will start. Okay. Do you, does, um, can I search my not since both, um, Cowers and I perceived it, can we have a better guess of what it is? Yeah. Okay. Like, what is uh, it? I was just saying guess, I was agreeing with you. Oh. Uh, or do we have to roll something? Um... Or either Calaris, you're trained in nature, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, you know what it was. Trained in nature and arcana. You know what it was. What is it? It's a chimera. I'm assuming you actually know what it is from that description. I'm... Yeah, it's a chimera. Chimera? Oh, with three. Uh, that or a chimera. Chimera. <laughs> yeah, it's like. Chimera, you have, uh, it's like head of a lion, dragon, and a goat. And a goat. Okay, I, and there's like a snake a tail snake. too. Yeah. It has wings. I thought chimeras don't have wings. No, they have wings. They do. And it makes it even more terrifying. They also have the elements. Ugh. Wow. Well, luckily, we're not playing Final Fantasy X because <laughs> that's pretty terrifying <laughs> as it is. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead. Kill the dragon head first, just saying. 
For God's sake, that thing has a fire breath. Wait, wait, there is an actual. Wait, wait. Are, are we doing the goat, lion, and snake, or the goat, lion, dragon? I guess we're gonna oh, find out. Accesses her memory. Google. Google. <laughs> <laughs> the memory of the ancients passed down to me, known as Google. Okay, I'm like, well, that we need to prepare that. How how would what would be the best strategy? I've never faced a beast like that before. Well, it's flying. So first step is to get it out of the air. Second uh, step. Okay. Second step. Don't stand in front of it. Okay. Third step, fire resistance. Hey, I got one of those. <laughs> there you go. So, so you can think, stand in front of it. Yeah, so I think we can have um, you can stand in front, and I'll stand behind him, and then shoot arrows. <laughs> it it might not be the best idea to be standing behind the person that's attempting to kill it. Just saying. <laughs> Breath weapon does go in a cone. Just saying. Well, the, yeah, the breath weapon does go in a cone, but the the big giant paws and snappy jaws are actually really what I'm concerned about. And horns. Yeah. Does it have a snake on the tail or no? It does not. Calm down. Okay. okay. Well, Satan, calm down. There's different types of chimeras. That's why I just want to make sure. Yeah. All right. Well. It's moving too fast to get a, a spell on it, right? Um, yeah, can I put like a hunt my hundred for it? Well, well would you like it? I would like to put my hunter's mark. Hunter's mark. I was thinking uh, that too, but it only lasts a time. It la my spell can last 24 hours. Oh, mine can yeah, only last an hour. Concentration, I believe. Yep, concentration. Yeah, definitely want to be awake for hunting this one down. Okay, I, if there's any, nothing else we need to buy or prepare, I say let's get a good night's sleep. Is there anything we could purchase for fire resistance? Um, what, what is the page for items again? I'm sorry. Okay. I didn't see anything uh, in like, the player's handbook, but... Oh. Oh. Some type of alchemical item. Uh, like the sorcerer's stone or something. <laughs> can I can I purchase the bucket of water? <laughs> Are you really going to carry around a sloshing bucket of water? <laughs> Uh, I almost wish I was playing in my druid now because I have create water. <laughs> yep. I mean, you could get a water skin. I already have one. Uh, right? Okay. Being actual all prepared and stuff. I'll tell you who's prepared. Your girl. She has a hundred feet of rope, dude. <laughs> don't ask. Don't ask me where she got it. Not enough. Some silk, something. <laughs> you can never have too, enough rope, to be honest. <laughs> All right, yeah, I don't think there's much else we can do. Yep. At least that I can think of. Like, I mean, any any alchemical potion that we're gonna buy is gonna be at least fifty gold. We got money bags, though. Hi. My name is Money Bag. Mm -hmm. Looking if there's any. Here's an idea. Um, there's a spell in the book, uh, Circle of Fog. Would we be able to find an alchemical potion that would do the same thing when smashed on the ground? Just basically creates a heavily dense fog in the area for, I think, 30 feet per uh, spell level. You may be able to find a scroll of said spell. Uh, what level of spell is it? It's one. It's level one. Druid level one. I 
I only know because I'm about to play a, dru a druid in another game. <laughs> uh, I mean, you might be able to find a find a scroll of it, and that would be a divine. A divine. Good thing I'm divine. Yeah, I think druid spells are considered divine. I believe. At least they've always um, them. Streetwise check. I'm sorry, a streetwise, you said? <laughs> yeah, or, uh, investigation. Streetwise right. is no longer a skill. So you can use charisma according to the player's handbook. Investigation. Okay. Unfortunately, it's just a straight d20, but it's all right. Come on, no, it's not exactly what I wanted. <laughs> you are unable to find a. <laughs> All right, that was worth a shot. Mm -hmm. All right, so you're gonna go come back the next day and prepare for the hunt. Mm-hmm. Yep. How many competitors are around, do we know? Um, there seems to be at least a dozen or so nobles. Do any of them have underlings? Uh, uh, they all do. Uh, do One we... particularly uh, fluffy-looking noble looks to have at least 20 or 30 of the uncommon folk around him. Damn. Uh, so if I'm gonna I'm gonna get close to to Sophie and kind of do the over the shoulder talk while we're looking opposite directions and be like, do you recognize any of these upper class? Do I recognize any of these upper class? Mm-hmm. Uh, no, uh, yeah, of course. Do any of them look a little bit older? So, but I still would recognize some of them. Okay. You'd recognize the Harold Reed touch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which one? Uh, which one are you more interested in? I'm, I'm just wondering if any have a propensity of, say, foul play. Seems out in the wilds like this, people tend to go missing. I would rather it not be us. I, I look, I kind of like glanced over and I'm like, talking about Lisi and Noble here. <laughs> just, I mean, come um, on. What we've seen. <laughs> yeah, everybody. Yeah, is everybody. I'm like, that is how <laughs> you get death threats every single day. Okay. He's, and Lucian's just going to kind of look at you and shake his head and be like, why? You you humans are very strange with this. Mm -hmm. I just like, yeah, you guys are too. At least we don't attack each other. Well, well. can't really say that. <laughs> well. <laughs> and then, and our next adventure, Lucian gets attacked by me. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to have a big old slice of humble pie with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're ready. We're team uh, Stagin. What's our... Stagin? Uh, unicorn and Stag. That's our signet. And I get, and, you know, I show everyone the signet. Or, or a Unistag? Or Unistag, yes. <laughs> Someone recognizes you. Well, this. Nope, I have a mask on. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> you have a mask, and you also have a symbol of her heraldry. Mm -hmm. With the unicorn and stag. Not my, not my own one. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, the like, questions will abound. Okay. So we're there the next day? The first yes. break of light, a horn sound. The nobles all set off in a different direction. On horses or on foot? <laughs> on horses. <laughs> all of them do say is on horses. Some of them are on horses. Mainly, mainly though, it's just the nobles. 
the uh, under full card. Do not get more. They're all one. Keep. All right. Can I make a survival check to see if I can get a good indication of where my where my prey went? Yes, you can. Excellent. Oh uh, yeah. You uh catch the faint whiff of something burning off in the distance and figure it fairly well coincides with oh. the way that Sophie and Calaris were describing where the beast flew off to. So you figure that's your buzz effect. Okay. I'm going to subtly tell my teammates <laughs> so that all of the nobles don't start following us. I'm a birdie. Choo -choo -choo -choo. We follow. I follow the team. Me too. We pick up Jose if he says something. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> Jose is laughing. <laughs> like, yes, this needs to be said because this is what we just did. <laughs> Literally what we just did. Oh dear. Potion Sully. <laughs> I'm going to battle! I'm going to battle! I'm starting in a minute 39. I understand the reason for it. You can't handle my strongest potion. No one can. <laughs> My strongest potions are fit for a beast, fellow man. My strongest potions, fellow. What do I have to tell you to get your potions? Why won't you trust me with your strongest potions, fellow? I need them if I have to be successful in the battle. Let's go find that fucking chimera. All right. Wow. I'm so glad nobody asked where they found the fucking chimera to start with. Okay. Uh, who are we gonna ask? <laughs> the Huntmaster? Well, we would ask the Lacrum family, obviously. The yeah, Lacrum family are known for their excellent tea and to get oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> Lucy. <laughs> As we're as we're walking, Lucian's gonna come back and just be like, "We can tie him down after we get back and ask our questions. Let's find the beast first. We could just ask the questions without tying him down, too. <laughs> but what fun is that? <laughs> he's he's gonna give a very like one of those sly, I'm joking with you smiles, but not really. All right, so we continue traipsing through the forest toward the scent. A burning shit. You know, they go for yeah, really um, bad if this thing burns a village. Does anybody want to roll another nature check to see if they can, like, find a, like, natural prey or things like that? Things they're more inclined to go eat? About I think I found it. An hour or so later, after walking, you, uh, you come across what seems to be a... Um, burn down farmhouse next to one of the people <laughs> that's still smoldering. Did it conquer? Uh, who should do tracking or whatever? Well, I just rolled a 23 yeah. nature, so. Uh, Patrick rolled a nature. Yeah, before you mentioned the burning village, we were looking through natural prey or fecal matter. Oh, you found it. Okay. Interesting. We found fecal matter. Yeah. Any. We found, we found a burning village. Or a burning oh. Oh, oh, natural gotcha. prey. Um, Sophie, do you recognize any emblems on the house? Well, if it was a surf, it might have their master's emblem on it, but if they're just free range, free range surfs. <laughs> we're, we're, we're way outside the city, right? So all these people would be commoners. Like, <clears throat> oh, they could, 
They might swear fealty to a lord. I think it would have eaten them. There are no livestock at all, although there's some carcasses out in the field. Um, how fresh are carcasses? Do. How fresh are the dead bodies? Um, very fresh and happy. Is there any indication? Yeah, are there any indication that this might still be by, like nearby? I would like, uh, yeah, I would like to make either a survival or a perception check to see if it's nearby. Uh, make it a survival. Check. Yeah, I can do that. Oh my god. All right, that's. I hate this thing sometimes. There you go. I hate these things called dice. They're so random. <laughs> God. It's not though. Every almost every single time I've rolled outside of combat, it's there's been like maybe two times where I've gotten above a ten. <laughs> no, I didn't. That was me. That was that was the one, the one out of the two times over our last three sessions. <laughs> Not in combat. <sighs> All right, yeah, eighteen. You do your old survival, right? Yeah. Notice that although there seems to have been a uh, cattle pen, it is broken open, and uh, several track cow tracks um, seem to be leading away from the farm, and they're followed by what seems to be lion cat-like paw prints. Okay. Give me a moment. Since Lucian's going to be quiet, I'm going to type this out instead. You're projecting your inner thoughts. I told you to drink your orange juice this morning. Now you're all sick from traipsing around in the woods all morning. What you mad at you, huh? Lucian. <laughs> 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 you got some explaining to do. You got some explaining to do. Alright. Alright. So the will walk over. Uh, Sophie will do her hunter tracking thing. The will pretend he's doing a hunter tracking thing. Because he's not a hunter or tracker. I will stay back, not knowing so what's going on, because <laughs> I don't so understand me. sign language. Well, it would it would simply be like uh, a motion with the finger over the mouth for quiet, and then he's literally going to point to the tracks. Okay. I nod. So the rest of you are all like trying to be stealthy, and Jose is just walking. <laughs> 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 he already breaks line on side on most things. Yeah, exactly. Alright, I guess we follow the tracks then. <laughs> Alright, they leave quite a distance. Probably takes you another hour or so until you uh, find what seems to be three partially devoured corpses of cows. That seems to be where the tracks more or less end in a, a thicket of wood. Okay, 
can't we see the sky? Um, yeah. See the sky. Is there any broken branches up in the trees? Uh, there does seem to be, yes. It took to the air. Uh, Calrus. Yo. And your knowledge of the beast. Is it attracted to fire? Okay. So if I said the corpse is on fire, it wouldn't come running. Probably. If we offer food or, uh, food or treasure, though, it might be willing to kind of buddy up with us. Are chimeras intelligent? They are. Smarter than a beast, but they're still... Not they're not on par with like dragons, right? They're not no. sentient, no. No. We're not sentient, no. They can understand I speech, say, but they can't speak. Why don't, look, I say that we do this. Why don't we go ahead and try to find like, um, some sort of animal to, to offer for the bees to be like, bored down to, and then to help us out, we'll poison the animal. might be able to sense it's poison. Yeah, that would be my oh, concern. Really? Yeah, some some animals, especially with like any type of enhanced senses, generally can detect if something's sick or weak. And like if it doesn't recognize it, it's probably not going to eat it. Well, maybe it's not, we don't like, make it like... Also, it might not be a scavenger if the animal dies from poison, so it might No, 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 I was going to put it on the coat of the animal. Uh, still. Okay. You'd probably um, able to smell it. Well, I guess the next best thing is just to make a lot of noise and let the thing fall behind us. <laughs> Does anybody by a chance speak Draconic? Draconic? No. Actually, we can use that stuff I bought for a couple traps. Uh, uh, the spikes, the cow trips, the net. The the vials and the the glass bottles. Right. Just the problem then becomes luring the creature back to areas already hunted. It's true. Is uh, can we make another survival check to see where where it might have gone? Um, you figure that it's probably still very close. Like the the corpses on the of the cows are so bleeding, they're so fresh. Ah. Calvers is going to keep looking in the air, <laughs> you know, just in case. Is this, the, is this the only clearing that we've come across? I mean, the only thicket of woods? Most of the, most of the area in the delta is plain, wide open field. Okay. Um, this is a... Thicket path. of trees. Gotcha. <coughs> All right. Well, Lucien's gonna pour the oil in a bottle and stuff the uh, stuff the neck with the cloth. Okay. And you're gonna light it on fire, or well, why would I light it on fire? I'm not throwing it. <laughs> you said you're stuffing it in the neck, right? Yeah, I'm stuffing the cloth in the neck of the the piece. So that if it does come down, I can easily light it and throw it. No, oh, oh, the neck of the bottle. I was thinking the neck of the corpse. I was like, what the hell? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, so Lucian's going to bend down next to the corpse, fill the bottle with oil, set it aside, and then take the spare clothing he has and shove it down the cow's throat. <laughs> I just thought you were making a cow-a-top cocktail. A cow-a-top cocktail. Oh, oh, man. I'm so impressed. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
All right, I'm going to um, scatter the cow trips. Or, or like the the cow bodies real close together. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna scatter the cow trips in between and around the bodies. Okay. Well, just in case, if it, if it come back and we fight it here, then if we push it, if it tries to, you know, take it and go away, it'll have to go through the cow trips. Battle cattle. Battle. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Battle cattle. <laughs> I got battle cattle online coming soon. <laughs> That's wow. You pick the type of cow you want, and there's like ten. You know, and then you spend uh, money to equip them with weapons and other various items of destruction and then they fight. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. Is, uh, the game store that I um, in my town used to have like once a year in spring we'd have like 30 or 40 cows fighting. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Game of battle cattle. Pretty amazing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> battle cattle. That's like fucking fantastic. Um, as you are gathered around the cattle corpses, the great beast swoops in from above. Aha! Found it. So I suppose I could probably put you guys on the plan. Yeah, probably be a good idea. You went, oh, hey, wow. That is a great token for a chimera. So where are the where are the cattle? Where are the battle cattle? Yeah. Um, right around where you are, we'll say. I right. I request a cow token. I do not have cow token. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad that I'm not in front of the damn thing. Yeah, that would be me. All right. Um. You and I your fire resistance. Fire right away. Oh, of course. Because. They're like dragons, except. Hmm. Um, so and all of you. Oh, please, 17. Please, less than 17. Yeah, all of you can make it. Easy dexterity saving throw. I want to make a marvel. 23. Oh, what? Yep, I'm screwed. Nailed it. Oh my god. Oh god. Sorry, we got a good thing going. Damn. Oh well. Lucy Lucy looks back and sees us getting the hell all the way. It's like, what? Get why are you guys running for th they're just cow trips. You don't have to run. No, I'm not blowing up the cow carcass. Ah. Ah, well, at least I'm fireproof. Well, fire resistant. Yeah. Um, so the three of you that did roll horrible <laughs> take in, 12 <laughs> points of damage. Yay. And Lucian takes 25 points of damage. Halved. Fire resistance. You take all of you take 12 points of damage. <laughs> so that's half my HP. Roughly. That's not bad. I'm down to 20. I think my uh, HP is wrong on this. Yeah, I should have heard it. It may be. Someone did an update. There we go. I updated mine. If you double click on your token, you can edit the totals. Toasty. Well. And then everyone can roll in. Can can we give a general indication of where these caltrips are? Why don't we put X's on the map? There we go. I like that yeah, idea. How many uh, caltrips did you buy? 
Uh, just a, a bag. Um, Caltrips. Bag of 20. There's 20 of them. Uh, so, I pick three squares. It says you could spread a single bag over a five foot square. <laughs> and pick one square. Yep. I really wish I hadn't said anything. Same team. Same team. So I'll bring up the rear guys. Oh, actually, I'm I'm gonna throw it right in front of it. <laughs> that square right there. Sorry. My fault, guys. Yeah. Don't get to go. You've got to be fucking yeah. kidding me. You don't have to do anything to your You just system. don't go. That, that's it. You don't go. You go next turn. You go next game. Huh. Man. Hell, dude. What dexterity? <laughs> who needs dexterity? Yeah, who needs fucking dexterity? Oh. It is initiative. Which uses your dexterity as well as. Oh, but it's heavy armor, which means I can negate. Oh, I'm sorry, that's just with armor class. It's not with initiative. Initiative is a negative one. Damn, man. How can you have negative one initiative? Because it goes off dexterity and you have a negative one dexterity box. Actually, no, F this. This thing pissed me off. We're going to use Hellish Rebuke on it, which is an interrupt. Um, cast when taking damage. Creature that dealt the damage takes 2d10 plus uh, 110 per level of fire damage. A, de a dexterous saves half. I think that's all of it, actually. Yes, um, although you only get the yeah. Actually, it's a level 2. It's the second level, so it'd be 3d10. No. It's gonna be... Yeah, it's, it's, it's my... It's my racial power. Racial power, I get Hellish Rebuke, I can cast it a second level for free. Is it a fifth level spell? No, it's, it actually says on in the book that when I hit level 3, I get Hellish Rebuke at the second level as basically a daily power. Uh, it doesn't go toward my spell limit. Yeah, no, I'm wondering, though, like, Hellish Rebuke is a second level spell, though, isn't it? Hold on, let me check. No, I think it's first. That's what I'm doing. Because otherwise it wouldn't denote it. It would just say, blur to blur. I know it's a warlock spell. So. Yeah, Hellish Rebuke is the first level. So, 3d10. Eat it. So eat it. Okay. So ah. 3d10, and I get... Do I get a save? Dex save. Dex save. Dexterity save, yep. Well, his dex save is just as good as yours is. Actually, it's better. Oh. Okay. Nah. Oh, wow. You just set that up just to say that, didn't you, Tyler? Uh, it's going to fail to save, though. Bam. 15 oh. fire damage. 15 oh. fire damage? Yeah. Well, it's, unfortunately, it's what Hellish Rebuke is, but it's something. <laughs> Apparently, Chimeras do not have resistance to fire. Really? Well, I guess their, their dragon head does, but the rest of them probably wouldn't <laughs> since it's all fuzzy. Yeah. What damage it is? Alright, I'm just dead. Sophie, you are up first. Okay. First of all, but up. I do that. Second okay. of all, I am going to cast Hundred Mark. Get that. Are you sure you want to do it on the kind yeah. of and not, you know, Lucian? <laughs> <laughs> 
just to see when he goes into initiative order. <laughs> As a joke. Okay. <laughs> then, next, I want to move. Walk over on the cow track. <laughs> spell as a bonus action, you won't be able to do that this turn. Oh, okay. Then I will just use one of my meteoric arrows. Alright. How many of those do you have? I have, now only have 11. If I, I would would you be able to sacrifice your move action to make it a bonus action? Nope. You cannot. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I mean, I, I'd rather use the poison on my regular arrows anyway. Otherwise, um, monks would be broken. Yep. Nine yeah. Attacks six attacks <laughs> at level one. Let's go. Fine. <laughs> you can use your regular action nine. as a bonus action. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Twenty. At twenty, will hit. Okay. Then one d plus one d six plus two, four. Don't forget Colossus Slayer because. Oh, it ha oh, is it under attack? Oh, it is? It is, because there was it was hellishly rebuked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, um, 21. Wow. Lucian was all like, oh, no, girlfriend. Mm-mm, girl. Mm -hmm. I just got my hair done, dead, and you just messed mm -hmm. it up. Mm-mm. I told you, didn't I tell you? I, she told her. She told her I was there. Phrases that you can't understand as it can, drives can into the. Mm -hmm. Didn't the last time we try and listen to this thing, it almost drove one of us crazy? Yeah. I don't feel like making a wisdom saving through it right now. Okay. Try and listen to that. I'm like, Shut I got up, my Arrow. own bottle of weird shit to talk to. I don't need <laughs> that. Time <laughs> error, because all of you rolled even worse initiative than he did. Yeah, I'm okay. Sweet! That's awesome. <laughs> 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 Alright, it will... Breathe fire again! Yep, you're right, Pat. Because <laughs> it can! Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Another deck save? Yep. Oh, thank god. <coughs> oh boy. <laughs> nope, you do not. You're in oh, thank god. You the day. <laughs> so you're taking a quarter, Lucian. Yep. Uh, Lucian, you take six. Jose, you take 26. Can you Uh, not when I'm dead. <laughs> Man! I mean, like, five. Oh, well, no. you took 50 points of damage, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How much do I take? 36. Ah, uh, you take 13. Cool. So, <laughs> 4 HP for me. <laughs> oh my god, are you guys almost dead already? Yeah, that's what happened. Says the woman that runs ten hexes away and tries to shoot at it. Yeah, this, this hunt is a brilliant idea. This is great. Yeah. Yes. Let's just chalk this up to how many times you got us killed. <laughs> you guys stand here and take the, the brunt of the beating. I'm going to sit back here and fire arrows and make fun of you for dying. <laughs> And, uh... Do what? 
claws and it, the lion head tries to bite you, Lucian. Is it? Does it have reach? <laughs> oh my God. Is it really? It doesn't look like it is. If yeah. It, if it tries oh, to reach over, won't it cross the claws right here? The thing right here? Yeah. Those, those are cow trips, darling. Yeah, cow trips. Because I, I. It's going to reach his head over. It's not going to hit it. Because you are right next to it right now. Oh, okay. Point. Because oh, it is a huge or large monstrosity, so takes up more than one square. Okay. Um. The claws will hit you. Oh man. Holy shit! For 14 points of damage. Jesus. God. I'm dead. Well, I'm down. Oh boy. You are, still, you are at zero, so you can still be conscious. Hard to fight when you're unconscious, though. And Jose, you are up. Uh, no, I'm not. No, he's not. <laughs> he's actually down. Huh? Yeah. There's one. Yep. If you would like to hold your action, I will let you. Who? Jose. He's down. I'm down. Like He's been down. He's negative. Yeah, I'm negative. Yeah. I stand. I'm just saying he can wait to go. I will let you go. hold your hold your go initiative, what? and if something heals you, you can still go to this round. The only person that can heal me is Sophie, and she's down. Okay. Or she's she's down. Okay. she Sophie already has her down. turn. Uh, sure. Lucian is technically not down ish. I thought he's at zero. Yeah, he's at zero. He's unconscious. No, I I play by the rule. If you're at zero, you can't take any actions, but you're not unconscious. Ah. Okay. So he could he could still like drink a potion. You just can't do anything strange. He's okay. exactly at zero. Um Alaris, you are up. Misty step over here. And drink a potion. Misty step is a movement action, right? It is a bonus action. Yes, bonus action. Okay, so I yes. would suggest walking over there, using a bonus action to drink a potion, and still do it. Uh, okay, let's do that instead. <laughs> yeah. If you Silas want. More Drake again. I just put him a stranger. Oh, that, that was a mischievous dude. Yeah. Alright, so I walk over, I guess. And drink my potion. Is that my standard action? Well, I'm really glad I brought this potion, huh? Uh. Potion is a bonus action, you said? Sure. Sure. Alright, then I will do a Eldritch Blast. Because there's not much else I can do. Oh, come on, you have spells. Yeah, spells that require party members to be up. You have Shatter, that does like 2d10, doesn't it? Yeah, also it does like a 10 foot radius, so that would kind of. You know, potentially so, hit allies. Pass it here. No, 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 no. Yes, because it's not like you need the extra damage at this point. 
Yeah, why aren't you casting your big keep giving us a plus? Use your plus. Alright, alright. That's uh... Or your whatever firebolt thing, I'm sure that does more than No it doesn't. But how much does that do? Firebolt is a one D ten. Alright, so give me a constitution saving throw. Okay, cool. Seven. seven points of damage. Lucian, you are up. All right. If I use my my hit dice, how much? Um, um hit dice cannot be used during combat. I don't. Okay, I'll use all 20 points of my Lay on Hands then. Um, I'm going to do a Disengage action. I'm going to Disengage back here, and I'm going to drag Jose. Can I make a Strength check? Oh, uh, no, nah, you, you can do it. Okay. He, he's limp. I'll drag him here, and then I'll move over here. So that's... If I was here, we'll move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three. Subtle hint with the gnome there. It's, he may need help. I got it. Don't worry. I was planning to go to him anyway. Well, I figured I'd get him out of the line of fire and try and maybe draw the dragon away with my newfound 20 points. <laughs> Would um would you would you allow me to do a command spell? Uh, what kind of action is it? Uh, I believe it is a straight action. That um, you would not be. Is it command? Yeah, one action. Okay. Um, action. All right. So hunter's mark is a bonus action. Would I be able to pull that? Sure. Okay. So one creature for and every plus one. So one creature takes plus one d6 damage from my weapon attacks. I get advantage on a wisdom versus the target. Wisdom, perception, or survival against the target. Yep. Same okay. Thing, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm more reading it for myself. Okay. Uh, is there anything I have to roll for that? My turn. Tyler? Tyler? No, he got disconnected. <laughs> you mean, wait, 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 wait. You mean cure wound or healing word? Sorry, cure wound. Here. Cure wound. So that'll be 1d8 plus 2. Are you gonna do it or am I gonna do it? She doesn't. Uh, I don't know if, if he just got. I don't know if his router is gone Probably. or. All right, so that's a spell slot. Uh, 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 uh. I roll a nine. Oh, he's out entirely. It looks like his router dropped. Oh. Because he just dropped out of roll 20. And the call dropped. Or he, he dropped out of the call. Mm-hmm. So just give him a minute. Yeah. Well, either way, I roll a nine. So you should be I'll at four. Are you at four? four? No, whenever you heal at below zero, you always start from zero. Oh, okay. All right, so I have zero then? 
Mm -hmm. So yeah, so you have no, nine. No, you you have oh. nine. Oh, okay. Okay, so I have no idea what just happened. My computer decided to crash on me. So I'll go get router dropped because you went out of Skype as well as World Twenty. Uh, World oh, Twenty. No, my, my my computer just died completely. So. Oh. Wow. That was actually a quick boot backup then. <laughs> Um, and is that a standard action? Yeah, so I can't do anything else. But I will move over here. One, two, three, four, six. Because <laughs> fuck you guys. Take, take this potion and I'm going to go hide. <laughs> no, I yeah. killed him. He has a potion. You can drink it as one action. Yep. Has he, um, do you have a potion? Nope. No. I gave away my potion. Right. Uh, Jose, you are up. Alright. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to chug that potion. Chug, chug, chug. Is it 2d8 or 2d8 plus 2? 2d4 plus 2. 2d4 plus 2. Okay. There are more advanced healing potions. We just haven't Eight. got them yet. Alright, then I'm going to chuggle myself over here. Three, four. I'm gonna be under the tree. Then I'm going to cast a healing word on myself. Uh, what does healing word do? One d four plus your wisdom, I believe. Yeah, you want to cast cure light. Or cure links. Do I have cure. that? No, I don't have that memorized right now. Why do you not have that memorized? I have healing words, shield of faith, and command. That's what I have memorized right now. Healing words only advantage is the fact that it's ranged. You can cast it it's up to ranged. 60 feet. Command might be a better option. Alright, let's do command then. Uh, Alright, how does command work? Eight round. Yes. So. You speak a one word command to the creature within range. Target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or follow the command on his next turn. Uh, the spell has no effect if the target is undead, or if it doesn't understand your language, or if your command is directly harmful to it. Okay, so I'm going to tell it to sleep. I would recommend that you command it to halt. The target halt. doesn't move and take no actions. Okay, yeah. That you, also, you can also tell it to sit. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> sit, Ubu. Well, I was thinking sleep, because then we can do a coup de gras on it, technically, right? I don't think you would literally command it to fall asleep, though. Like, it's not just going to be like, no. fall asleep. Fall asleep. Okay. Lay like, down, I guess. What if I yeah, said... Halt? No. Apparently <laughs> not. Does it heart just stop? <laughs> it's like, it's it, hard. That's it. it dies. <laughs> Alright, I say halt, then. Halt. Uh, uh, yeah, and now that it doesn't do anything, <laughs> it, it just keeps going. It's like, whatever. Apparently, my suggestion is horrible. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> All right, so, um, also, it doesn't understand common. It's the spell isn't so much based off of the language that you're using. It's based off the magic power behind the words. Except it literally said it doesn't work if it doesn't understand. Oh well, never mind then. <laughs> I'm gonna take my smart ass comments and I'm gonna go home. Or if it doesn't understand your language, could he do a redo on that? Oh yeah, let do something. do something else. That's okay. I was doomed to fail from the beginning because he would look at you and be like, okay. Okay. What's, what's up, bitch? <laughs> Damn it, it's a Spanish chimera. It is a chimera. <laughs> El chimera. Uh, El chupacabra. Alright, well, I... Uh, Did you say you have armor or shield of faith? Yeah, I'm going to cast shield of faith on myself. 
Good idea. Two more AC. Yeah. That's a really good idea. So two more AC? Plus two. Yep. Plus two. Alright, cool. So I have 20 AC right now. <laughs> and that's a concentration of up to 10 minutes. So if you get hit, you gotta make a con check to make sure you can continue concentrating on it. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna end my turn here, I guess. Then. All right. The Chimera will be up. I told you Spanish. <laughs> what do cattle traps do when you walk over them? I just looked it up. Um, any creature that enters the area must succeed on a DC 15 dexterity saving throw. If it fails, it stops moving and takes one piercing damage. Parkour. <laughs> uh, what's this uh, Huh? 15? Yeah, DC 15. It rolled a 15. <laughs> Ty's got a defender or a... Oh, never mind. Um, That's right, flank that sound, babe. Until the creature yeah. regains at least one hit point. A creature moving through the air at half speed doesn't need to make the saving throw. Okay, well, it's worth a shot. Shot. Fortunately, my saving throws are nothing short of amazing this game. <laughs> um, did it move through a threatened area of mine? Oh, uh, sure, we'll say yes. Can't be. Okay. Can't be, right? Yeah, he he won't. Won't. He won't right, cool. Actually, it's probably more likely that he moved through Jose's threatened space because it's so fucking big. <laughs> we'll, say, we'll say both. It's huge. All right. There. And it's, we don't get to cast any spells or anything like that. It's just an attack. All right. Does a 13 work? And it's flanked. It's flanked. Make sure to use your advantage. Get advantage. Oh, snap. Yes. 12. Does that work? Damn it. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't even read. Oh, there it is. Uh, 13 does not hit. I rolled a nat one on one. Advantage loops. And then it will. Well, at least you've got to roll a second. I think that is the second. That is the second. Yep. It correlates the two. Yeah, because it says it says two D twenty. If you hover over the number, it says two D twenty K, which means keep one of the highest. Of course, you could have added both of them together, and it still wouldn't have been very. Yeah. Good. Yeah. That nat one, man. Nice guys. We're trying, dude. Uh, <laughs> the dragon head attempts to. White Jose. Okay. The, wait, what? what? So <laughs> it's, uh, it's facing me then? Sure. It's facing, <laughs> it's turning around. Okay. <laughs> so wait, it charged. It charged Calrus, but it's attacking Jose. <laughs> oh no, it charged all three of you. Oh. It is, it is going to attack all three of you. Oh, okay. It's got, it's got a multi attack, but. Just, just wait. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah. The, the dragon head is attacking Jose. Is that a black dragon head or a red dragon? Uh, I think the thing has a black, but technically you're yeah. red. I guess it could be any color. Did you say technically I'm red? I'm sorry, am I a dragon? It's, it's in the monster manual, it's red. No, oh, okay. I was just wondering if I was a dragon because that would help me out right now. Uh, that does not hit. No, no, it does not. <laughs> um. And I'm also going to do repost, one missed reaction, uh, one superiority die. So let me do this, plus four, 23, will that hit? That will hit. Uh, Damn. Okay, and so add to d8, so slash r, 2d8 plus two, I think. So 14 damage there. Jose starts pulling his weight. Yep. <laughs> Amazing After what you three, can do when you're not unconscious. After what his yeah. fourth, cons fourth consecutive game of nearly dying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, every, encounter. every encounter. Every encounter. Even with a bridge. Against Calrus. Yo, what are you yeah, doing? Claws. Claws. All right. I love you. <laughs> I it? deflect him with my staff. Oh, that's a that's a nat one. Come on. Get out of here. Get out of here. And it's Horns attempt to gore Lucian. So it's next. What, 
Do bad do bad things not happen on a nat one? Oh my god. This head goes this way, this head goes that way, your head goes ah! <laughs> <laughs> in most manual they are a different. Derby. So apparently it is far, far better at attacking Lucian. Yeah it is. And anyone else. Teeth things are its like favorite enemy. Is anyone dead yet? Oh, yeah. I'm getting real close. Give it time. <laughs> soon, soon. Jeez. Okay, I'm in melee range with a creature, right? Yes, you are. Mm. <laughs> Sounded so happy. Yes, you are. So casting spells gives me disadvantage in melee range, correct? Sure. Or you can yeah. miss step away. Uh, well, you know, I had a lovely DM suggestion to cast Shatter using my other spell slot, so you that, two. you know. You've only and used I one. missed these step. Oh, that's right, I did miss these no, step. Yeah. Why? Well, cool. You missed these step then. <laughs> okay, DM suggestion, man. I will DM suggest Misty Step over in front of, you know, what's her face? Yes, group up. This is also a DM suggested. Group up really tight and close together. Well, listen, <laughs> when she's got heels, I group up next to her. Yeah, but when... you have to understand, I can only do one more heel, that's it. Well, that's great. I got one hurt ass, and you have one heel. Good enough. And now I will do but you're my... Like the... You haven't contributed yet, so why should I heal? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Look, I have 49 HP. Let me run away. 23 for an Eldritch Blast. Will that hit? That will hit. See, I, this thing dies. I completely crazy. forgot that she has more health than Lucian does. She has more she health, has health than, health than, than everybody. I have, um... How much health do I have? 30 something. You have 34. 30, 34. I thought you said 49. No, I have 34 health. Hey, you still got more than Lucian. Eight points of damage, force damage, if that makes a difference. Take eight points of damage. And dies. Did not die. And is pushed back into the caltrops. <laughs> <laughs> did not push back into the caltrops. Although, Lucian could try to push it back into the caltrops. Actually, it would push back into Jose. Yeah, it would push into Jose. <laughs> Push it back to Jose. He hasn't died enough for this round. <laughs> <laughs> Under a smite. Wow. Look, it already hit you once. How likely is it to hit you again? It hit him twice. Practically none. Statistics exactly don't work like that. Happens. Eventually it has to miss. Statistics so. don't work like that. You're an account. <laughs> All right. Um, I flipped the coin 50 times. It landed heads 49 times. It must land tails the next time. All right. It's already got Hunter's Mark on it. Yeah. You know what it doesn't have on it? It doesn't have a Hunter's <laughs> Smite. I really don't want to hit it on top of him. We almost drowned him the last time I did that. Like, okay, I'll count that as an attack, and then I'll do a reaction. Lucian, sacrifices have to be made sometimes. If we have to sacrifice a gnome, T we sacrifice a gnome. Tyler, if... It hasn't hit all of its saves this combat so far. So. Yeah, so it wouldn't be pushed. It would just do damage. Alright, works for me. I'm going to actually spend my last two spell slots because I have advantage. Um, I'm going to pop one with Divine... Divine... I'm sorry, Channel Divinity into the Divine Smite, and then the other one is going toward Thunderous Smite. Do you have anything that does extra damage against evil creatures? Mm, not at the moment, no. That's more of a cleric's job than mine. Right. You know, okay. the amount of sheer burst damage that freaking paladins can dish out yeah. is almost insane. Yeah. Alright, so mall advantage. Fourteen you've gotta be 14 
does hit. Does it? Oh. Oh, boy. Okay. Thank God. I was about to scream. <laughs> Alright, so that is a...